Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are going to prison. Yes folks, we have started a prison here in Scrap Mechanic, this is something you guys have actually wanted to see, and I wasn't sure quite how to approach this because I was pretty sure this is going to be a massive build, so this will be a several part mini series here. I'll explain why I numbered the episode differently uh, towards the end of the episode here. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the little sneak peek as to what you're going to see here in the prison in the intro. And remember folks, if you are enjoying Scrap Mechanic and you like seeing it on the channel, consider hitting that thumbs up button, it helps out my channel. And let's jump right into this. Oh boy, where to begin? Well first off, I probably need to clear my search history because I searched about every type of layout for prisons, pictures, and probably somebody's going to think that something's up here. So yeah, we've got a little highway road out here. This leads into the prison. Now, there is only one way in and out of the prison right now. And I have to say, I think it's actually pretty secure. So we do have a prison bus over here. So we're going to take this in. Uh, this bus actually came out pretty nice. It's really what's on the inside, which is uh, really cool. Now, uh, somebody's probably going to point out, yes, the bus has mods, but the prison itself doesn't. I will include a download to the prison without the bus in it. And if you want the bus, just visit my workshop and you'll need to download the appropriate mods for it. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop in here. And you can see, yes, we are about to load up here and go to jail. This is just so odd in Scrap Mechanic. I always picture like really nice things in Scrap Mechanic and it's really odd that we have like a prison now. So yeah, we can go ahead and open this up back here. Uh, it's actually really tight. You need to kind of be on this side of it to open it. Uh, there's not a lot of room in this bus. So yes, uh, the inmates would go back into here, the prison guard would set here. Uh, I looked at quite a few pictures of prison buses, and this seems to be fairly accurate. Uh, there probably would be a little bit more seating than this, but obviously the, uh, the size of the bus kind of limited my ability to add more seats into this. Now you would set back here, obviously they would lock you back up. There's like a little cage here, so you get the front cage and the back cage. And even the windows are barred up, so there's no attempting to break one of those, even though I'm probably pretty sure the windows on a prison bus may, might be bulletproof. I could be wrong about that. So yeah, if you do, in case of emergency, you need to get out the back, the guard will unlock that. And the emergency exit still works. So my thought is there's going to be a guard here in the back, and there's going to be one in there with the inmates. And most likely they're going to be like strapped down, or I think they might chain them to the seats. I don't know if that's still a thing or not, uh, so yeah. Let's go ahead and hop out here. This is a custom seat block. Uh, I didn't use one of the scrap mechanic ones, so we're going to hop into here. Uh, everything works. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to back off here. I'd like to show you how this thing drives, but there's not really much to do with it. I mean, it handles like a bus. It drives fine. It's actually got the uh, custom wheels that you can see on there. Those are Ike's uh, diesel wheels, and they work really great on a bus. So... We need to get into the prison. Now you notice there is a little bit of a sign over there. And yes folks, that means you guys get to name the prison. So uh, comment below with suggestions on that. Okay, so in order to get into the prison, this gate is heavily guarded. Uh, there's a bit of a system going on here. So you're going to drive up. There's a controller and a sensor over here that controls the front gate. So you'll drive up here. And you're going to trip that. So you're just going to drive into this little area here. And you're going to trip the second sensor. And that's going to close the gate behind you. Now, a lot of uh, prisons will do this. And they might do it in a different manner than this. Uh, they're going to basically lock you in this little area. And you can see the sensors below. Those are kind of cameras. They're going to check the bottom of the bus. Make sure there's nobody either getting in or getting out. It's pretty much the same procedure to get in and out. So you're going to stop here. Now there is no way to open that second gate from in this little box. So we're going to need to hop the fence over here. And I'll show you where the actual main switches are. Uh, I might, just for the sake of convenience, add a switch in there. But I wanted to try to make this somewhat realistic. So let's go ahead. We're going to pop open this here. And this is like a little secure area for the people... Uh, the guards that might be at the front gate. You've got a tower over here. And to open the second gate, there's a switch up here. Now, he's got controls for the front and second gate. Say for some reason he needs to manually let somebody out, uh, he can control that. So, you're going to hit that second switch, and it's going to let them through this gate here. 
and the bus can proceed. Now back over here, there is a little prison tower. I have, I think three of these set up right now. They're in the corners of the yards. And when I say yard, this isn't like a, uh, a yard that the prisoners can go into. This is just a surrounding uh, yard before the main wall back there. So let's go ahead and show you this real quick. You've got a little camera up here. Uh, another reason I didn't put this on the truck stop map is the whole fact of I wanted the lights to actually work. And the truck stop map right now has too many of them. So you don't see any illumination from the lights. So let's go ahead and walk through the tower real quick. Uh, I'll explain those motors here in a second. Uh, let's see. Oh, what? Am I wedged? Oh. Oh, I was actually kind of stuck. It's really tight through here. Uh, let's go ahead and walk up here. And you get kind of a good view. Uh, you've got your little radio up here. You can talk to the different uh, towers. So yeah, you can see the towers in the corners. Uh, here we've got a little bit of a spotlight system going on so you can turn on the spotlights and You have some control of them uh, with these buttons over here I uh, set them to max you can see they are actually lighting up the ground It's kind of hard to see with the uh, with the way the uh, Sun is right now But yeah, you can actually see that, that it's working So I think this would be kind of cool at night if I can light it up good enough, but I haven't tried that quite yet So yeah, you can see the view out the front here. There's not much out there uh, but yeah, I like the way this tower came out, and it's really the same tower on each end, so I'm not going to go to those. But I do like this catwalk also. This catwalk also extends to the other side. Let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, it's for the guards just to kind of look down and look at what's entering the prison. So this is another little secured area here. Uh, I want to use like the key. Uh, there's like a mod it. It's like a key card reader or something similar to that. Or maybe even a hand scanner, but to keep the map vanilla, I that's why I went with the normal button. Because most likely if a prisoner got out, if it was that easy just to hit a switch, uh, that wouldn't be a very secure prison. So yeah, you can see this area here is kind of locked into itself and it's just another catwalk. So yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to drive there and enter the main part of the prison. Alright, so we pass through this security checkpoint. They would close the gate right behind us and we come up to the main wall. Now, this prison is not complete. I'm going to get some of your guys' feedback as to the new sections you want to see in here. Uh, what I did inside the prison took a long time. Uh, we actually have two cell blocks there. Now, I'm still thinking of how I want to make the main gate work. I picture there being like a main control or security area. Maybe it's another bigger tower and they can control it from there. But for right now, I just have a switch over here that opens up the main gates and we can proceed into the prison here. So we're gonna drive forward. Uh, let's go ahead and close that. Uh, that's one of the switches I would like to use on some of the doors because it looks a little bit more secure. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into here. So we're gonna drive through here. Now you can see, like I said, it's pretty empty. Uh, you would drive to the right here and this would be like a, say it's like a loading area or maybe an unloading area. Uh, there would be like booking in here. This would be where there's probably like a holding cell and they can get everybody situated before they actually load them into the blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. So that's about where I am right now as far as the inside. And I have this little hallway of basically fences that's going to extend over to the building that I place over here. Uh, so it's going to be like the unloading, maybe some administration or something like that. So you would load in and say the prisoners are all signed in. They've got their new clothes, uh, their new fashionable orange jumpsuit. So they're going to walk down here to their new cell blocks. So we're going to walk into here and you would proceed through here. So I've got two cell blocks. These are actually identical. You've got cell block A and B. These are your general population cell blocks. Uh, I will probably do like a solitary confinement or maybe a, a more high security cell block. Even though I must say these are pretty secure. So you see this opening to the right, this is probably going to lead to like a exercise yard or something like that, or maybe to a cafeteria uh, in this side. You can see we have a lot of room here in the prison. The whole outer wall is done. So let's proceed into a cell block. Now these cell blocks are pretty secure, so you're going to go here to the front door. And you can open this one, but actually this should be closed. Let's go ahead and close this here. All right, so the guard's gonna let us in. So you have the little tower up there. He's gonna see that the prisoners are ready to be loaded into their cells. So they're gonna let you in here. 
And here we are, we're in the block. Now it is a little dark in here, I will switch on the lights. Uh, you can see all the cells here, we have 16 cells per block. And I've got a little bit of explaining about what some of this is. Uh, this is the security tower in here, and there's a little catwalk that security guards can stand on. And all the cells, they have like a really good view of both the uh, first and second floor. You can see the cameras that are positioned in here. Uh, let's go ahead, actually let's go out the other way. I'll show you where the guards would enter in. Uh, we're going to pop out the back. They've got a little entrance they can go in. Uh, it's kind of more secure than the uh, front one here. So we'll walk out the back. It's actually between this alleyway. We'll need to go all the way around. Okay, so only guards have access to this area here. So let's go ahead and pop this open. Uh, we're going to walk up here. We've got another secure door here. And here we are. We're in the tower itself. So let's go ahead and switch on the lights. Say it's time to wake everybody up. We're going to hit that. And there we go. Lights are on. Uh, let's go ahead and show you guys what this thing looks like all lit up. It's actually pretty good. The, uh, the lights do a very good job at lighting the inside of this up. Each cell's also got its own individual light. Uh, we'll go check one of those out here in a second. Uh, you can see there is a lot of controllers. Let me show you the uh, spider web here. Spider web's uh, pretty insane. Now he's got several controls here. He's got one for the front door and he's got one to open up all the cells. I'm still debating. I could make it to where you can open up all the cells and then you can open up each cell individually. But I would probably, I think I would need a controller for every cell. So you're talking, uh, like, let's see, 16 controller or 16 controllers there, and then all the other controllers that are already set up. It would be a pretty big undertaking. So we can go ahead and pop everybody open here. Let me try to catch that. It's kind of hard to see through this window. Let's go ahead and swing out. You can see all the cells actually opening there. Uh, this one over here, it's, it, there's a little alarm that goes off when the uh, cells open. Same with the uh, front door. So, yeah, let's go ahead and check these out real quick. Now, the cells are all the same. We might go in and decorate a couple of them a little bit differently to kind of break up that they all look exactly the same. So, obviously, it's a prison. You don't have privacy. Privacy's gone. So, if you got your toilet, you got your sink, you got your bed. That's all you need in a prison. So, yep, if you're uh, using the bathroom, the guard can pass by and see exactly what you're doing. I can't imagine doing this and I would never ever want to go to prison. I was looking at so many pictures of different cells and realistically none of them look very comfortable. So that's the cells. Now you're probably wondering uh, why this is so protected up here. And there's a reason because of that. Let me go ahead and close these real quick. That bugs me for whatever reason uh, that they're open. So let's go ahead and close the cells real quick. Uh, there we go. So this is where it gets a little bit dark, uh, but I had to look it up because I was wondering why. Well, I had a feeling I knew why it was like this. Uh, most times if you have a second floor in a cell block, uh, the railing and all that is protected. And that's to keep people from either pushing each other off or push or jumping themselves. Uh, it's kind of a dark thing, but I wanted to make this realistic. So that's why the fencing's up here and the rails. Uh, they're all the way down to the uh, last cell over here. So anyways, uh, there's two of these cell blocks. This is cell block A. Cell block B is right beside it. It is exactly the same. I just duplicated the building and wrote a B on it. Anyways, what you guys are going to be tasked with. I need a name for the prison. And I also want to hear what you guys want to see in this prison. Do you want to see like a solitary confinement, a yard, cafeteria, Whatever you think is appropriate for this prison, I will continue to add on to this. So this is going to be a little bit of a mini-series. I'll probably try to do this at, at least once a week until we have fully finished this prison. Uh, so yeah, the prison itself is vanilla. I will have a download for what's here now. I won't have the bus in it. You need to go to my workshop to in order to get the bus. It does require three mods. The Durf mod, the Ike tire pack, and the switches mod that the developers came out with. So you will need all of those to run the bus. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy it. Maybe you want to go in there with your friends, role play a little bit. Uh, that was a part of my idea behind this, was maybe this would be like a cool little role playing map for you guys. But anyways, folks, uh, if you have any more ideas for maps like this, I'm actually going to probably jump into doing more stuff like this, uh, kind of contained in their own little maps, uh, bigger projects, because this was absolutely fun to build. So if you have any ideas for that, let me know. Uh, if you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. 
I hope you enjoyed the episode here today. If you didn't check out the NASCAR uh, transporter episode, that was yesterday. I'll link that in the description. And we will still be doing a viewer creations episode. Maybe tomorrow. I'll have to see if I can get around to it. I'm going to be really extremely busy this weekend. So it's probably going to be just scrap mechanic videos because I know I can get those done and get them out to you guys. But anyways, hope you have a good day and we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic.